Hi, this is William Koo, and then I'm going to demonstrate the traffic light project that I've made today. And here's our circuit. As you can see, this circuit is powered by a 9 volt battery right here, followed by a switch. And the circuit itself has two main components, which is the 555 timer and then the counter chip. The counter chip we're using today is the 74HC4000 series. We could also use the 4017 counter chip. But that's what we have right here. Um, in a nutshell, the circuit works by having the 555 timer generate pulses for the counter, and then depending on which count the counter is at, um, the counter will um, generate output that will depend that will determine which light will be light on. And we also have here um, six diodes right here. There's little resistor-like um, components. Um, the main purpose of them is to um, control the output of the counter and to make sure the correct light is on. And then we have here a potentiometer, which is 1 mega ohms by itself. De and depending on the, uh, the value I adjust it to, um, it will control the length of the traffic light. So pretty much um, the, smaller I, um, the smaller the potentiometer, um, the shorter the um, cycle length of the traffic light would be. And that's it. Now we'll do a quick demo. So now I'll press, uh, I'll turn on the switch. And then for the fourth cycle, the um, red light will light on. And then it should follow by one cycle of both lights. And then after that is four cycle of the green light. On a, as a side note, the um, the traffic light we're making today is um, is similar to the traffic light in UK. It's just, it's different from the traffic light we have here in the US. Um, in that um, before the green light, both the red light and the yellow light will light up. It's kind of like um, you know in the racing car or whatever. Um, in the US, the green light just follows immediately after the red light. Yeah. So you can see that um, we have pretty quick cycle length right here. So the light turns on. I mean, the light goes through pretty fast. And then, um, yeah. So if I um, if I were to change the potential meter value, now I'm gonna increase the value. And then I get this going. So I, I increase the value by a little bit. And then now we can see that um, again um, the the red light lights on for four cycles, followed by a cycle of um, red and yellow together. And it will give you a little bit of time because the cycle length is longer now. And then after that, the green light will light on for four cycles. And then after that, the yellow light will light on, and then it will be the red li red light, and then the cycle will just restart over again. As you can see, the um, the cycle length is um, is quite it's quite um, obviously um, longer than the previous ones because I increased the resistance in the pot. I could pretty much I could uh, I could even make the pot value even higher so that um, each each light will stay on for for a minute or so, just like the real traffic light. But for demo purpose. Um, we will we'll not do that because we want to see the change, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, so if you have any question, please let me know. And then yeah, thanks for watching the video today.